So those, so we can all put a, a strong, long pause on those Steph Curry and LeBron James comparisons. Okay. Yeah. Put those, put that on hold. Go put that in your box. Go put that in your little jewelry box and just lock it. Put that in your lock box and go bury it somewhere. Okay. Steph Curry, 21 points in the first quarter. Finished with 34. Had zero points in the second quarter. Okay. They gave up a 15 point lead at home. Okay. At home. And lost by what? 15. Imagine that happened until LeBron James led team. Imagine. Like all the venomous criticism that LeBron James would get. Okay. So they'll be like, oh, he had 21 in the first and only finished with 34. He's supposed to finish with at least 45. That's what I'm saying. You can't compare Steph to LeBron. You can't do that. There's levels to this, man. There's levels to this. Y'all know it. Even if you're a Golden State Warriors fan, you know it. Okay. I'm a fan of Steph Curry. But the thing about it is this. You, you can't compare him to LeBron James. If you're going to do that, then you got to give, when LeBron falls short, you got to give Steph that same amount of energy that you give LeBron when Steph falls short. You can't give him that excuse. Oh, well, he's six foot two, six foot three. He's a guard. Blah, blah. He's the best shooter in the world, right? He was missing a lot of shots. He was missing a lot of shots. And Derek White was giving him that work in the fourth quarter. 21 points, Derek White, uh, White off the bench. Okay? He was giving him that work. Steph Curry can't afford to allow Derek White to average 20 points a game. He can't. He can't. Because guess what? If that was happening to LeBron, we'd be like, well, he LeBron James, he's supposed to be defending. Now, is Steph Curry a better shooter than LeBron? Yes. Is he a better passer? No. Is he a better defender? No. Better rebounder? No. Okay? No, no, no. Better in the post? No. No, no. All right? But um, you got to ease on back on that, man. You know, like everybody was just rushing that and stuff. So it's like, hey, pump your brakes. Pump your brakes. Okay? Pump your brakes. If you have a problem pumping your brakes, hey, go get you some more brake pads. Get you some brake fluid or something. Okay? Or go to Midas. Get your brakes checked. All right? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know. Bars. Damn, that rhyme, right? I wasn't even trying. Freestyle top of the head. All right, let me know. What do you think? Do you still think that we should, that, that um, it's still justifiable to compare Steph Curry and LeBron James? Also, here's the thing about that, all right? So, Le Michael Jordan, you know, before LeBron James even won a championship, they was comparing him to Michael Jordan. Before Michael Jordan ever won a championship, he was considered one of the greatest. He was considered the greatest of his era. Same thing with LeBron James. So you mean to tell me just because Steph, if he gets his fourth ring and he's tied with LeBron, he's on LeBron level, we could compare them. But if he but if he wouldn't have would not have made the finals, guess what? There is no comparison to LeBron. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? What about the two years where Steph missed the playoffs? We go, nobody was comparing him to LeBron. Don't wait till he make it to the playoffs to the finals and do that that's front running at its best it is but anyway share your thoughts in the comment section below let me know what y'all think do y'all think that uh espn and box sports or anybody out there should be comparing steph curry to lebron james share your thoughts in the comment section below thank y'all for tuning student of the game peace out